Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm Cat, and I'm Raven, and uh, welcome to another entry in Weird Soaps. <laughs> <laughs> Today, and I'm, I'm testing out some different uh, structures on how we intro. I'm gonna talk about the fragrance right out the gate. Today, I'm gonna be using fresh cut grass. So, yeah. And side note, 100% absolutely smells like fresh cut grass. <laughs> no other way to describe it, really. So now I can actually just put it away. <laughs> so this is gonna be a big one today. I'm gonna be doing this as a slab and I'm gonna be using a tip we've never used on soap before, but I am familiar with using in cake decorating. And then we're gonna have a little special embed to include on here. Uh, your clue for that little embed is Creature Junction. Yes, enjoy. So, <laughs> got our usual very large batch of oils. There's what, 250 ounces once we add in everything in here? Uh, yeah, once everything's in here, it's a big boy. So, I'm gonna get started with my big boy of sodium hydroxide, which is lye, distilled water, and sodium lactate. Go. Okay, I'm gonna give that a good old stir with the spatula first. I have a few different containers I'm going to split this off into. So starting on this side, working our way over. First one I'm going to be using is Alpine Green from Nurture Soap. And next up here is going to be Let Us Entertain You from Mad Micahs. And then here in this bucket, I'm going to be doing Copper Penny from Nurture Soap. And in my big bucket, which I don't know if you can see on screen right now or not, but I'm going to be adding Magic Mushroom, which is a new favorite of mine for browns, because gosh, it's pretty. So the greens, I'm going to hand mix just for a second here, because I really want those to stay liquidy the longest. I'll blend those right before I put them in. Okay, so I'm set those aside for now. Focus on my browns. You're so weird. <laughs> you know, there, there is something I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. And that is my deep and long abiding love of Animal Crossing. And my very, very deep disappointment that number one, I don't own a Switch because they're really expensive. And number two, they're not available anyway, <laughs> anywhere right now. And that makes me sad because, you know. We've been trying. Well, I don't have the money now because I had to fix the car, but like, oh, I really want a Switch and I really want to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'm like, I think the kids would have a lot of fun with the Switch too, but like, also, I really want Animal Crossing. All right. And a few different spouts, and then a bunch here on the top. Go ahead and scrape that out because I'm gonna be all done with this. Okay, so got the big slab mold. Let's go ahead and pour. Try to make it as satisfying as possible. for you. Did it for me. Alright. Bow bow wow. So porn. Poor porn? Poor porn. Poor porn. Yeah. <laughs> One of these days I will own a switch and I will get the new Animal Crossing. I used to really love the old original Animal Crossing. I had so much fun with it. So I've got my two greens mixed up. And I'm going to pour these from relatively high because I do want them to penetrate down into that green layer or that brown layer a little bit. At least on this initial pour anyway. <laughs> penetrate. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, you want the soap to batter to penetrate. 
Yeah, thanks. Why well, you gotta make it weird every time? <laughs> every time she gotta make it weird. Well, that is coming along nicely. I am pleased with the progress thus far. All right, so now that that's all in there, I'm gonna go ahead and let this set up a little bit and I'm gonna get started on mixing our frosting. Time to go ahead and mix up our frosting for our grass. This is the Royalty Soaps original frosting recipe. I have heard that she has recently changed it uh, with the Soap Frosting Club, but this is the old one from when it was on Nurture Soap. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix in, per usual, our lye. And I'm also gonna go ahead and immediately add in our colorants. So I'm also gonna be using Alpine Green again. But this time I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of neon green from Nurture Soap, just to brighten it up a touch. Okay, and we're gonna give this a blend. Okay, so I know we've talked about this before, but the thing with soap frosting is that you're never really sure how long it's gonna to take to set up. <laughs> so I'm gonna set a timer for a few minutes and come back and check on this and see where it's at. I need it to be obviously quite a bit thicker than its current liquidy form. So we will be back when everything's ready to go. A few moments later. Okay, welcome back. I have our frosting here in our piping bag and I have also put in some occasional little drips that are a combination of almond oil and uh, maniacal tea. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started on frosting. This is a grass tip, it's a Wilton tip in particular, and this is gonna take forever. <laughs> Understandably. It has been a while since I've done the grass tip. I can tell I'm out of practice. Having flashbacks to learning how to do cake decorating from my mom. Which my mom does watch our videos, so like, hi mom. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think I really need to worry about, you know, like people being mean in the comments. Generally, people are pretty nice in our comment section. But, you know, if you're tempted to be mean, my mom might see it. Be nice. Though, honestly, you're, you're nice, better at being um, civil to the mean comments than I am. Tactful. I'm tactful. Yes. Are you regretting some life choices right now? A little bit. <laughs> I was like, am I like a third of the way done? I'm like, no, I'm like a quarter of the way done. Well, like in the, the 90s and the early 2000s, there was a style of uh, cake for kids that was really popular where this was the entire thing. You frosted the entire cake in this. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see if I can't find some pictures to put up, but yeah, it was really popular for a while there because it made it look sort of like furry, you know? Like Cookie Monster. Like Cookie Monster. Ooh, maybe next tax season I'll finally be able to get another tattoo. I don't know, we'll see what the world looks like in six months. Right? Maybe I will finally be able to get another tattoo. Are you ever gonna do this again? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it looks pretty cool from this angle. That's good. It better look cool putting all this work into it. it smells like grass. Yes, yes it does. It looks like grass. That's the point. Ooh, this frosting's getting hot. Have I ever mentioned that saponification is an, was it, exothermic reaction? Soap gets hot. I believe you have mentioned this a few times. <laughs> Whew. One eternity later. So close to being done. Eventually. Hand cramp. Hand cramp. Uh. What feels like the crazy thing is that if anybody buys this, I feel like it's going to be a gag gift. <laughs> all this work into a gag gift. I don't know. There's there's a couple others that I, I'm fairly certain are more prone to be gag gifts that we have planned. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of the reality of weird scent month. How long have we been filming for? 17, almost 18 minutes. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Ooh, all right, <laughs> not bad, not bad. You really gonna make me put it in the dick mold? Yes. I hate you. Guys, I got Raven to use dick molds. You can't even put it on camera. Can you get me like 
like a skull or something. <laughs> Yeesh. Now that we have all of our grass piped in, I have some little embeds that I've made out of soap dough. So these are not going to be on every single bar, just on special bars, as if you were wandering around playing a game and found a bag of in-game money. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna put those on just certain bars. These will be randomly mixed in, so if you do decide to pick up one of these bars, you might get one of these little special ones. Hopefully I don't completely jack up their placement. <laughs> All right, so that's some of them on that side. I will put the rest, open that around, on this side. There we go. Okay, and with that, I think these bars are done. All right, here is the finished slab for our fresh cut grass bars. They're little bonus items. <laughs> So we're gonna let this sit for at least 24 hours. I have some concerns as to whether or not it will need more than that. We'll find out. And uh, when we come back, we will split it on our new loaf splitter that we picked up from Workshop Heritage, and then we will cut them into bars. So we'll catch you in a minute. Bye. Welcome back. Uh, excuse any potential sound in the background as the children have just been put to bed and uh, we have entered that 45 minutes where they can't sleep. So <laughs> we are back with the grass uh, creature junction soap. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and get this all split. I would like to introduce you to our new, our new slab splitter, our loaf cutter. I don't our know. loaf splitter. Loaf splitter. Yes, thank you. Our new loaf splitter. Uh, we don't have a name for the new loaf splitter. As a reminder, the only piece of equipment we've named is Greg, and uh, they, they are the special child right now. <laughs> but yes. uh, the loaf splitter doesn't have a name. If you have any recommendations for a name for the loaf splitter, that would be fantastic. I will probably eventually put some googly eyes on it if I can figure out whether or not they'll stick to this material. But we picked this up from Workshop Heritage, not sponsored, but uh, we did buy this and a single loaf to use for custom loaves going forward. Uh, so. I want to go ahead and get rolling on splitting the loaf here. All right. Time for Greg. Greg the Destroyer. <laughs> A little bit better. I think I'm actually going to be okay to just cut. We're about as okay as I'm gonna get, really. I love these little bags. Bags of, well, what's an alternate word for bells? Bags of ringlings. Satchels of, of, satchels of ding-dongs does not sound like, that's what Sacks I mean. Sacks of ding-dongs. Sacks of ding-dongs. Ah, it came out so good. We both know why I like sacks of ding-dongs. I ding know, which is why I was trying to avoid it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at those little bags. They're so cute. How cute is that? I love it. Okay, that green did exactly what I wanted it to do. I didn't want it to be just like brown and then green. I wanted those little tendrils of green. Yeah. So cool. This next one is one of the ones without the bonus items. Twang. Twang. There we go. Oh, look at that. Ooh. So cute. Ah, I love that grass. It really does smell just like grass too. It does. <laughs> and if you actually legitimately like the smell of fresh cut grass, this is a fantastic fragrance oil. And it performed really well. Yeah. While we were working with it. And with that, we have our finished grass bars. I mean, perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Pretty good chance these will probably darken up, especially in the brown, as they cure. So if relevant, I'll throw up our usual image showing how things turned out as it uh, cured later on. And these, 
Again, we keep running into this problem where we're filming all this week and we don't know when these are going to be available. I will throw up a date and time if uh, we have figured one out for when these will be set in the store. So those are at catandravendesigns.com. Link is down in the description box. And as always, you can find us here on YouTube. We are also on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Discord. Discord. So many places to come and talk with us and hang out. We'd love to get the chance to talk with you and chat with you. So if you want to come and hang out with us, Discord's a great place. Lots of other social places that we go and hang out. So hope you are doing well. If you have Animal Crossing, play, play well for me. Send me screenshots of the cool outfits on your little character and like send me screenshots of who your favorite villager is. I love them. They're so cute. <laughs> Or even uh, leave a comment down below. Who's your favorite villager in Animal Crossing? It could be any of the Animal Crossings. All right. So with that, we will catch you for next week's video. Have an excellent rest of your day. Goodbye. Goodbye.